Hello everybody. Sven, Juho, Pavel, Remik, Nerius and the rest the guys from the all world which request for the any question. Two months away and new projects are going, new ideas, new thing and all is here. Today I would like to present the brand new ready sensor for HDK unit based on the real Bosch application CC212 or 215 which documentation was shared on the UHO site. My sensor is ready to the connect directly to the HDK unit. We have it here unit and we need only the free wire reference measured and middle line. Sensor don't need any kind of amplifier and all unnecessary stuff to works like is built on original application in the Bosch EDC. It's directly connected. Here we have uh, one unit connected to the testing and three mentioned lines. We follow for the lines. Here is a unit. Anyway, minimal requirement to the proper works is a supply plus 5 volt line with ground, three wires to HDK coil and one output with analog channel. Of course, like I mentioned, this is a minimal kind of connection. Sensor has also digital interfaces to send data in a better form. Here is a pin out. We can show us. Here is a, here is a pin out. Here is a pin out. Uh, and here we have uh, um, two line of the word, typical line logic, 0, 05 volts. Mm, parallel port which works in two modes, 8 bit and 10 bit mode. And E to C port required two line SDA and SC. At this moment it's not active because um, I need the stronger motivation for the firmware. But uh, hardware is ready, but the firmware layer need uh, need uh, stronger motivation. Anyway, the parallel and UART port we have a connected here. Uh, below below the HDK sensor this is a testing board to the programming to the connect the UART to the connect the logic analyzer and connect the supply supply is, is, is somewhere here here exactly here uh, and anyway the UART and parallel interface are tested and it works perfectly and at this moment for my EDC satisfactory is a parallel interface with the 10 bit mode uh, after I, I, I show how, how this works on the, on the analyzator a load sensor has a size the 40 on 50 millimeters nearly 100 elements is connected is used to build three lines connected directly to the HDK coil are fully protected before the shortcut to supply and the self short and the shortcut to ground sensors has also very usable heat here is an application application which we can use to the fully configuration of the sensor the best result we can get if we connect the sensor to real HDK unit and connect the scope here we have an application here we have a tested uh, HDK sensor and HDK unit also connected the scope scope with the measured and reference site okay so we let's start the application uh, we have a connect the, to the computer and we what we do first we choose the com I use the typical FTDI chip with the, which uh, connect the USB virtual com with with the 05 logic. Okay, we well, let's start. We start the communication. 
and the sensor give us the serial number here we have a serial number and we can read configuration below this is a window with the debug data it's an open protocol i don't hide the information that's sent to the sensor and here what we can do we can uh, change the reference amplitude measure amplitude zero point this is difficult to explain at this moment, but this is a point which uh, which the sensor used to the to the evaluate the value. Also, we have an error limit uh, the the range when the sensor uh, responds the error flag. The limit is set for the minimum and for the maximum. Also, we have a digital filter. This is a filter uh, which is allowed to the works how quick the data internal in the sensor are the processing uh, usually the best settings is uh, 245 hertz or 980 hertz nearly the one kilohertz so what we have here we, we can now change the reference amplitude uh, when we change the amplitude we send the data to the EPROM we write to the EEPROM and when we observe on the scope you see the reference amplitude is much uh, high and we can uh, and now I change yet the amplitude we change the smallest amplitude see that amplitude was uh, changed we do that of course this is this is possible to to calibrate every each every each um, sensor because they has uh, individual parameter every pair HDK unit and what we can do yet now when we change the when we, hold on I change the focus now when we change the unit we have uh, two, two lines and the uh, configuration application allow to set the best settings for the sensor versus uh, HDK unit. Here the yellow is a reference uh, uh, sign, blue one is a measured sign and the pink one this is an analog output line um, the same like used in the original Bosch, Bosch solution. Here when we have a uh, Below on the scope we have a range, the uh, uh, pink one range at this moment in the, in the minimal position has set on the 1.12 volts. When we change the, to maximum uh, value we've got the 4.32 volts. Of course these parameters can be, can be adjusted by application and and uh, this is, the, in my opinion, the best practice is to configure the, the sensor on the using using the scope and using the using the real unit. So uh, we have the calibration calibration uh, application, and um, maybe now I introduce the some electrical parameters then. In the in the my sensor DAG unit has a 10 bit 10 bit resolution. Uh, refer to the Atmega 16 documentation. In original Bosch we have a 16 bits digital analog uh, converter. Of course, for us the 10 bit is enough. Digital range uh, is between the zero and 1024 counts. Usable range is from the 200 to 921 depend of the of the configuration safety margin from the sensors uh, from analog signal is one volt to four and a half volts if we compare the results with the documentation bosch cc215 on the site 19 okay we can we can open them uh, sensor offered the uh, uh, proper uh, proper the same the same the voltage range of course we can open them uh, and the 19 website 
sorry, nothing is here. We have a range of operation, and uh, our sensor exactly works with the same, the same voltage level like the output. And for the right side, we have a digital count. Of course, for us, solution is, is uh, 10 bit only, not the 16 bit like like here. Anyway. Uh, Please don't ask me about the scam or the drawings. At this moment, there has all that has a status, the top secret. If somebody wants a sensor, please ask me directly on email. Get them and proper data sheet and application. At this moment, uh, I have to build the four, four unit. The one stay for me, one is for you, huh? two. Uh, are, are, are spent for the uh, previous owners. The cost of the sensor is a 20 euro for, for each, excluded the delivery cost. Mm, and this all. The right side is original sensor provided for the Yuho for for his his old job because. Yuho's job that was the uh, best motivation for me. So, now time for the unbranded VP30 or VP44 fuel quantity electronics direct on the CAN protocol, like the Remix song. And now, now I am waiting for the result of testing Yuho in real car. Kind regard, Mario. Bye bye.